Out of the thousands of asteroids that fly past Earth, none have sparked more concern than Apophis, the so-called God of Chaos. It is the largest asteroid projected to approach our planet so closely. For years, scientists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson, confidently dismissed the chance of a collision. But now, surprising new evidence is shaking up that certainty. According to the new study, a slight bump from another space object could be enough to knock Apophis off course and into a deadly collision path with Earth. The revised findings have triggered fresh discussions about the asteroid's future path and raised fresh concerns about its possible collision with Earth. Even NASA is now conducting a simulated exercise to find out how well we are able to prevent a potential asteroid impact. So could the God of Chaos asteroid really strike Earth? Join us as we unpack the science behind its possible collision. Just a month ago, a small asteroid approximately 1.5 meters wide, named 2024-RW1, entered Earth's atmosphere off the eastern coast of the Philippines' northern island of Luzon. This harmless asteroid burned up upon entry, creating a dazzling fireball that both frightened and captivated spectators and was widely reported on social media. What's concerning about this incident is that 2024-RW1 was detected only hours before its atmospheric entry. This underscores a troubling reality. Our current technology has limitations when it comes to identifying smaller near-Earth objects with sufficient warning to respond effectively. This reality becomes even more pressing when we consider the upcoming event on April 13, 2029. A much larger asteroid named Apophis will pass dangerously close to Earth. This 370-meter asteroid has been tracked by scientists for years. However, recent discoveries have raised concerns about an increased risk of collision with Earth. Before we dive into that, let first establish some important context. In 2004, astronomers discovered asteroid Apophis, and it quickly became a subject of intense interest for astronomers. It is part of the Aten Group, a collection of asteroids that frequently come near Earth. What sets Apophis apart is its large size, measuring 370 meters wide, equivalent to the length of three football fields. Early predictions raised alarms with a 2.7% chance of the asteroid colliding with Earth in 2029. A collision of this scale would unleash the energy of 65,000 atomic bombs, leading to catastrophic consequences for life and infrastructure. Fortunately, with advancements in technology, our understanding of Apophis's trajectory has improved. By 2013, NASA announced that Apophis would pass safely by Earth in both 2029 and 2036 at a distance of roughly 31,000 kilometers. This is closer than many of our satellites, making the close flyby a unique opportunity for scientific study. Researchers are eager to use this event to gather data on Apophis and refine models for future asteroid monitoring. But why is Apophis such a major focus of study? Well, Apophis has garnered a lot of attention from scientists and astronomers, primarily because of its upcoming close encounter with Earth in 2029. You might wonder why a close flyby is such a big deal. To clarify, let's revisit the impact of a comparable object on Jupiter 30 years ago. In July 1994, Comet Shoemaker Levy 9 collided with Jupiter. This was the first time we could directly observe a celestial object crashing into a planet in real time. Shoemaker Levy 9, or SL9, was a periodic comet that broke into multiple fragments after a close pass by Jupiter in 1992. These fragments then headed toward a catastrophic collision with Jupiter. The impacts from SL9 were astonishing, causing noticeable changes on Jupiter's surface and even altering its color slightly. For the first time, we saw just how devastating such impacts can be. Before this event, Scientists and the public largely underestimated the frequency and potential dangers of asteroid and comet impacts. Many believed these kinds of collisions were rare, occurring only once every few million years and thus were not a major concern. The SL9 impacts changed that perspective dramatically. The realization that such events could and do happen in our solar system sparked significant concern. 
This led to increased funding for projects aimed at identifying and tracking potential threats to Earth. As a result, NASA and other organizations ramped up their efforts to monitor near-Earth objects, setting ambitious goals to locate and follow these space rocks. One of the key players in this effort is the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona. Situated at an elevation of 2,096 meters, KPNO has been instrumental in the discovery of several important celestial objects, including the asteroid Apophis. Since its discovery in 2004, Apophis has captured scientists' attention due to initial estimates suggesting a potential collision with Earth in 2029. At around 340 meters wide, Apophis was classified as one of the most dangerous asteroids because of its ability to cause regional destruction. It received a level 4 rating on the Torino Impact Hazard Scale, the highest score ever assigned to an asteroid by NASA at the time. The close approach on April 13, 2029, remains a notable event. Apophis will pass within 32,000 kilometers of Earth, closer than some geostationary satellites. This proximity will give observers in parts of Europe, Africa, and Asia a chance to see it streak through the sky. This flyby provides a rare opportunity to study an asteroid of this size in close detail and collect crucial data. Scientists will be able to observe how Apophis interacts with Earth's gravity, potentially causing slight changes to its orbit and spin, which are vital for refining models that predict the paths of other potentially dangerous asteroids. So, now you know why Apophis is a big deal. Let's quickly look at the recent discovery on its trajectory and address the question everyone's mind. Will Apophis collide with our planet? In a shocking turn of events, Canadian astronomer Paul Wiegert has released a groundbreaking study that contradicts previous assumptions about Apophis's orbit. Wiegert's findings suggest that there is a slight but not insignificant probability that the asteroid's course could be modified in a way that puts it on a collision course with Earth in 2029. This dramatic revision has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Wiegert's study provides an insightful scenario concerning the asteroid Apophis. While its orbit is currently regarded as safe for at least the next century, Wiegert's research shows that even a minor collision with a space object, like a small asteroid or debris, could modify Apophis's path. This could potentially send it on a perilous course toward Earth. Using computer models, Wiegert's team examined the chances of such an event before Apophis's close approach in 2029. They found that an object as small as 0.6 meters could shift Apophis's course enough to push it into a keyhole trajectory, a specific gravitational path that might lead to a future collision. The odds of this happening are incredibly slim, estimated at less than 1 in 2 billion for 2029 and less than 1 in a million for a delayed impact. Even if such conditions occurred, only about 5% of these collisions would send Apophis into a trajectory leading to a collision with Earth. Therefore, the overall probability of an asteroid impact steering Apophis toward Earth is less than 1 in 2 billion. While these chances are exceptionally small, the possibility cannot be completely ruled out. The study emphasizes the unpredictable nature of space, where even minor collisions can have large-scale consequences. It underscores the need for continuous monitoring of both large near-Earth objects like Apophis and smaller debris that could indirectly become threats. Now here another question arises, how is NASA preparing for Apophis and similar asteroid events? NASA has been at the forefront of preparing for potential asteroid impacts like Apophis. In a recent effort, nearly 100 representatives from U.S. government agencies and international partners gathered for a planetary defense tabletop exercise at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. This exercise, led by NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, was designed to simulate the challenges posed by an asteroid impact. The exercise presented a hypothetical scenario involving a hidden asteroid that had a high probability of striking Earth within 14 years. The asteroid would be invisible to Earth-based observatories for seven months as it passed behind the Sun. This situation emphasized the need for early detection, 
and the difficulties astronomers face in tracking objects that can remain undetected for long periods. NASA and other space agencies are continuously improving their ability to identify these hidden near-Earth asteroids. For example, NASA's double asteroid redirection test successfully redirected an asteroid by crashing a spacecraft into it, demonstrating a proactive measure to safeguard Earth. These advancements are critical to understanding asteroid movement and preventing potential impacts. By considering all scenarios, even those proposed in Vigert's study, we can better prepare for any asteroid dangers in the future. Since May 2021, tracking Apophis has been difficult due to its position relative to Earth and the Sun. Vigert notes that the asteroid has been mostly out of view for telescopes and will remain so until 2027, as it is currently in the daytime sky, which makes observation with ground-based telescopes nearly impossible. When Apophis becomes visible again, astronomers will have a limited time frame to monitor its path and collect additional data before its close approach in 2029. This observation period will be crucial for refining our understanding of its trajectory and evaluating any potential risks.